lasted for one day, 16 hours and four minutes. followers d y'all know exactly where they came from me and baby used to say that all z time it was like this little comedy sketch we watched and it was about like um i can't remember i think it was one of the wayans brothers um but anyway he would like sneak in people's house and call himself the cuddler anyway there was no need to explain that but if y'all og y'all know me and baby used to say that a long time ago but anyway i am off of work today wasn't too bad it was it's been busy because of the whole pandemic and everything that's going on and we supply linen for clinics and hospitals so y'all know we got to be on top of it to make sure that they have what they need and that's part of the reason why it never slowed down for us during this whole like pandemic or whatever but you know it's, it's just just a lot of logistics to the whole working thing but i'm off today was a busy but great day and now i am headed to my p.o box because um i told you guys one of my subscribers her name is eve hey eve if you're watching well i know you're watching sis because you said you are notification squad and i'm starting to see a lot of y'all say that y'all have y'all notifications on and i do want to give y'all a show a, sh a showdown what's a showdown i do want to start giving you guys a shout out if you say that you are notification squad because that means that you like to hear your girl talk and you click the bell to hear me talk so i definitely am gonna look at the comments in one day during this week i will give shout outs but i know eve already told me that her notifications on um so thank you for that sis and also thank you for going out of your way to purchase me curtains for my glam office she reached out to me on insta and said that she found the perfect curtains and she actually gave me a choice to pick out a couple like, like she, she wasn't bossy she ain't just say boom these are your curtains like she actually gave me a choice to pick out the ones that i like and i picked out um the ones and so yes they made it to my p.o box today so i'm headed there to pick that up and then another company by the name of maddie true collection and i hope i'm not butchering that if not it's across the screen they reached out to me because she knows i'm the smoothie queen your girl drinks smoothies every single day not tired of them yet um and i make my smoothies at home before coming to work but she actually sells blender bottles that you can like blend your smoothie on the go so she reached out and asked if she could send me that and i'm so sorry if y'all can hear the air but this is texas and it's hot as hell so Y'all just gonna have to deal with that air of noise. <laughs> but yeah, she reached out and asked if she could send me one, um, you know, to try out and give her my thoughts on it. So I definitely am gonna do a really honest review on the blender smoothie thing. This is the first one that I've ever had, but I have like seen them. I know Timmy makes one, um, and a couple other companies make the um you know, so you can make a smoothie on the go or your juice on the go. Like I told you guys in last week's video, I've been doing my collagen and I mix it with my Premier Protein. Um, and then I add ice to it to kind of make it into like a little milkshake versus like an actual smoothie. But I mean, technically it's still a smoothie. It's just, just two ingredients instead of all the ones. But yeah, anyway, I definitely want to um, try making my little milkshake in that blender bottle so yeah i'm headed to the post office to pick up those two things those are the only things that show to be delivered to my p.o box and, and just for future notice our p.o box address is always in the description box of the videos no this is not a solicitation i'm not saying that you guys have to send us anything but i do appreciate when you guys go out of your way to do stuff for me like you just do not know i wish i were here in my face so i could hug you well staying six feet away because you know what time it is but i really do appreciate you guys for that so i'm gonna go and do that and then our comforter came today i know i don't even know if i told y'all maybe edited that part out but yeah bad 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 the beyond had me upset because i am really i work in customer service so i really like great customer service very very hard and i'm not gonna poop on bed bath and beyond but their process in this whole me ordering the comforter was not good like they sent me an email last monday and said um hey just to let you know we're experiencing a delay which i totally understand there's a whole pandemic going on and no getting a comforter set is not first world problems but i mean 
I paid for it and you took my money. <laughs> um, so anyway, they never did update me the rest of the week on what was going on. I couldn't find, um, I found my order number, but I couldn't, the status wasn't updated. The tracking wasn't updated. So it was a mess. But I said all that to say that it was actually delivered today. They hadn't even told me it shipped or anything, but it was delivered today. So that actually made it to um, our package locker at our place. So I'm gonna go and pick that up. And then after that, I'll be going in the house. I do grocery shop on my lunch breaks now because I have so much time to do nothing on Mondays because I water fast all day. So normally I just use my lunch break and actually go to the store. And like I told you guys in last week's video, I don't have an appetite, so I don't even do a whole big meal plan anymore. Like I was trying to come up come up with two different kind of recipes and a breakfast and snacks and I, I just can't eat all that. So this week i'm just keeping it simple so i'll be doing my smoothie for breakfast and then i'm gonna do my homemade turkey chili for lunch and i just literally use the is it mccormick's chili packet and the recipe that's on the back of that packet is how i make my chili except i use ground turkey and stuff like ground beef or anything and then for dinner this week i'm either gonna do tuna because i'm not tired of tuna i've been going in on tuna so i'm either gonna do tuna or I'm going to do breakfast and make me a turkey sausage um, omelet for dinner. So, not sure which one I'm going to do. Well, I know for sure tomorrow on Tuesday, because um, I normally break my 40-hour fast on Tuesday, I break that with a smoothie. And then for dinner, I have tuna because it's something light since I've been fasting for so long. And then I go into my full meal prep on Wednesdays. So, that's what's pretty much on the agenda as far as food. Um, but I'm going to actually vlog this week, so I'll keep you guys updated because every time I give y'all like a real plan on Monday, something happened and I never like either do that or I either end up eating out or something comes up, like something end up happening and it don't follow through. So we're going to see if this one follows through, but I already went to Kroger and got everything I need. So as far as having the ingredients for meal prep, that is a go. I literally have everything I need, so I don't have to go to the store anymore. But yeah, I just wanted to come and open up a real vlog for you guys. And even though, like, I'm not going to shit on myself. Like, I love doing the Saturday slash Sunday vlogs with you guys. It's current. It is something I can actually focus on. Because, like, I've told you guys in the past, like, YouTube is genuinely my hobby. It's not my full-time job. So, I'm at work all day. And then I have a wife. And then I have a business. And then I have a personal life. So, sometimes YouTube can fall to the way side but i am getting back to where i'm getting back consistent with you guys and like i said i do appreciate y'all for working with your girl and understanding that you know if i didn't have a video up it was a really crazy week and i, I didn't have a video up. and i also believe in the fact too that like i don't want to just come on here and just be talking just to talk like i really want to you know give advice or you know you know teach or something like i want to have a reason to talk to you guys i don't want to just be on here like yeah i'm driving and it's hot and it's bored and i'm bored like i don't, I don't want to live that kind of life you know what i'm saying like i actually want to come with knowledge or come with something that i've learned or you know stuff like that so again i thank all my loyal subscribers welcome or welcome back if you're new and anyway i'm gonna shut up so <laughs> this vlog won't be two hours long because y'all know i'll do it i will do it <laughs> But I'll pick you guys up and show you everything that came in the packages today. Courtney in here talking about YouTube drama news because I've been on it. If y'all watch like what's going on with um, Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star, mm -hmm. and all that stuff that's going on, I'll be lacing her because I ain't got nobody else to talk to. I don't know nothing about it. Yeah, but yeah. unfortunately, I did go to the PO box and the curtains that Eve sent. They're saying they're delivered. My post office is saying they don't have it. So we're going to figure out what's going on. I really, like, it's it's been so crazy. It's a whole story time about this. And it got everything to do with the post office and UPS. Like, it has nothing to do with Eve or me. But they need to stop playing so I can get my curtains up. But the package that I have been waiting for is here. This is the comforter. I'm going to go ahead and get it open um, just so I can show you guys what it's looking like. And then I did receive the package from Maddie. Um, sorry, I'm going to bring this scattered. Maddie True Collection, yeah, the beauty blender. Cool. I mean, not beauty blender, the bar. 
No, not the bar. What is this? The blender bottle. So I'll show you guys that. But I'm going to go ahead and get the comforter open. And then I'm going to show you guys the little groceries that I bought from Kroger. So Alrighty, guys. So here is the comforter set. We got this from Bed Bath & Beyond. And I had, it was on sale. And I had a 20% off coupon. So I only ended up paying $90 for it. Um, and it comes with a comforter, two standard shams, two Euro shams, and two decorative pillows. And this is what it looks like, like, as, you know, once we make the bed. And then this is kind of, if you can see the pattern of it and the sheets look i'm walking over here to the sheets the sheets are a bit darker hold on i'm gonna bring them over here look i am really doing some maneuvering today y'all <laughs> all right so yeah as you can see the sheets are darker but i like that because me and baby like first of all you know melanin be popping so your girl be oily and all this stuff and i just don't like light sheets so i don't mind having the dark gray but you know on, on here but the pattern it's just gonna bounce off each other whatever so that is what we're looking like the only thing that we need now is actual pillows if you know hold on I'm gonna turn if you know where we can get some really good comfortable pillows that's not gonna hurt our neck and kill us please let me know because what well, i've bought pillows from walmart home goods marshalls and literally within a couple months they go flat and they suck now i did see on mattress firm they had some pillows and that was a pretty penny like 150 169 like i didn't know pillows was that expensive but if it is going to be comfortable and give us that like hotel lush feel then i don't mind paying for it or whatever um so yeah and then now i'm gonna open well first i'm gonna show you guys what i got from the grocery store so i can put that up and then i'm gonna open that package with you guys Okay, guys, so this is it. <laughs> I didn't buy anything from the grocery store. I pretty much had everything that I need to make my chili, which is turkey meat or turkey ground turkey or what I'm trying to say, y'all. I told y'all I'm a scatterbrain because I'm fasting. And y'all can see I got a ton of energy, but it's just my brain ain't caught up. <laughs> um, but the ground turkey, I already had that. I had my chili packet. I had the beans and the tomato sauce. And I even had little crackers to go with that. Um, but for dinner, I will do tuna or either an omelet. So I got my turkey sausage crumbles for my omelet. And I did get Miracle Whip for my tuna. I use this because it's only one point on Weight Watchers. Whereas mayo is three points. And your girl be trying to watch the points. So I do like Miracle Whip in my tuna. I got bananas. And I just break these in half and freeze these for my smoothie. I did pick up some dough baby spinach they did not have my kroger brand baby spinach that i like but this will do because i'm going to blend it anyway so i got two bags of that and then i did get me a four pack of my vanilla protein and these were on sale at kroger today for $7.99 which is good because they're normally $9.99 so i'll take that little discount so i got that for my smoothie and lastly i found these and i had to buy it i do like both the original and the white cheddar but sis this is what we bought it for these two cheddar snaps are lit like they are so lit and it's five of these in here and five of these in here and it's only 100 calories per pouch so i need to see how many weight watchers points this is i'll tell y'all in a minute but i like to eat these with my tuna don't judge me i just i used to eat with crackers and everything but i like to just have one of these little bags with my tuna and it just gives me the flavor that I'm looking for. So when I found these at Kroger, I just went ahead and bought these and then I can just have these around because I actually do like both of these as well, but I won't eat them during the week. But on the weekend, if I'm craving something crunchy or something, it's, you know, I'll just pick these up or whatever. So, so yeah, that's everything I picked up from Kroger because I really didn't need much. Like I said, I already had all my ingredients for my turkey chili and then for dinner, either it's going to be tuna or it's going to be an omelet. One or the other, because by the time dinner comes around, I'm not hungry but let me show y'all your girl has been fasting where's my phone your girl has been fasting for let's see let's see do 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 Your girl has been fasting for 20 hours and 35 minutes already. And I break my fast tomorrow at 12.50 because now I just do a full 40-hour fast. I used to stop it at my eating window, but I'm like, you know what? With the NRG, it cuts my appetite. I don't be hungry anyway. So I go ahead and just, you know, finish it when I hit 40 hours. So tomorrow I'll be breaking my fast at 12.50. And um, hold on, y'all. Baby calling me. Hello? Yeah, when you get a wife, just know they don't never know where nothing is. Wearing glasses or not, they don't never know where anything is. What I had to tell y'all, I forgot what I was saying. 
Oh, now I remember. So anyway, you know how I was telling y'all that like I fast on Mondays and then on Tuesday I have a green smoothie for breakfast, a green food smoothie for lunch, and then I have like whatever I'm having for dinner for dinner. Well, with the NRG, that curves my appetite so much that your girl can't even do that. So when I break my fast, I have that smoothie and then I don't have anything else until I come home and I either eat tuna or I'll eat whatever my meal prep is just because I can't even fit both of those smoothies in. Like it is crazy how much that like, curves my appetite so much and then when your appetite is curved and you're not like eating as much as you used to your stomach is a muscle and it shrinks and once your stomach shrinks that allows you not to be able to eat as much as you used to eat you get what i'm saying so that's the reason why i was able to cut down on my food like, like the know, nrg is not what like makes me not eat as much it just curves my appetite but by by it curving my appetite and my stomach shrinking that's the reason why i can't even get a full two smoothies in or whatever but i'm telling y'all the energy is lit your girl got tons of energy even since i've been fasting for 20 hours already i still got energy but anywho what your girl is about to do is go ahead and get these sheets and this comforter in the wash so i can get it all sanitized and all warm and cozy from the dryer make the bed up and then i'll be taking me a bath a little later on um and we're gonna sleep good tonight honey like i said we're still looking for pillows but i'm okay with this right now oh okay hold on i still gotta open this in the bottle hold on all righty guys so here is the blender bottle oh my god it is so cute this is my first time having one um this is the usb to charge it up so you can be able to go it did come with instructions on how to use it and then inside she gave me this really cute thank you note and then um if you do purchase from her you can tag her at any of her social medias her instagram and her her snapchat to be featured in their next post so i'm excited again you'll see more about it i just wanted to kind of open it and unbox it with you guys so that way you can like see what it all entails and then i'll use it and give you even more feedback it does come with two other pieces but again i'll um figure out what everything is and how everything is supposed to be and then i'll let you know and i kept calling it a blender bottle and girl it's a portable blender like get your life crystal get all your life but anyway again that is her instagram and her snapchat sorry the paper is like glossy so it kind of gives a glare but it's going to be across the screen as well but yeah just go hit her up and tell her crystal sent you but i'm definitely going to try this out this is the box that it came in it just says portable blender and how you maintain your healthy lifestyle just kind of what you see in the box and then it has the specifications here just in case you need that so yes i'll be playing with this sis seeing what i can blend up on the go <laughs> so yes guys i just got boxes and stuff everywhere like oh that's what happens when you keep ordering stuff and keep ordering stuff oh and with my vanity mirror remember on the box it said it come with a compact magnifier i was looking at the box because i didn't take that box out yet and i didn't see it i failed it <laughs> it was still in the styrofoam and i'm so glad that i like checked it one more time but yeah and it has suction cups so you could just suction it right to the mirror or you can hold it in your hand and you know see yourself and do what you need to do and it's like magnified i don't know it doesn't say how much it's probably three times yeah, it's probably like three times, but I like using magnifiers like this to do my brows because you can like see them close. But anyway, one more thing before I go. Let's just appreciate this microblading, y'all. Like, I never had brows before, but Demisha hooked your girl up. She did my microblading. And then, of course, you know, they grew out with quarantine. And then I got them threaded. And they look pretty, pretty good. And also, with my hair this morning, I'll go ahead and insert a clip. I saturated it all the way down. And then I add some... um. What did I put in my hair? Um, uh, coconut curling cream from. Let me go see, cause I be trying to give y'all right products, and you know, I used uh oh the badness upstairs. Oh here it is, the Cantu um coconut curling cream. I just put this in there cause I realized with this hair it does need product, and then I also too used the Motions um 
foaming lotion i mean foam or whatever so i drenched it down ran the foam through and then i put the coconut curling cream and i love the way it came out like the way it dried it dried more defined than it had been all weekend and like i say when i sleep on my hair i do love it 200 times better but anyway guys i'm gonna start running my mouth for today because like i told y'all i can talk and talk and talk and this video will be two hours long if i let it so i'm gonna go ahead and end it out today and i'll pick you guys up tomorrow have a good night so what's up guys and happy tuesday i'm at work and it has been a very very busy day but it is that time to break my fast so i'll show you guys i have been fasting now for 40 hours yes i made it and technically your girl is not even hungry that's my email um, I'm not even hungry because of my NRG. It curves my appetite like none other. But I do go ahead and end up my fast because when I get home, I am going to eat dinner. So I will be breaking my fast one with my Nutriburst. Y'all know I've been talking about this. This is a liquid multivitamin and I take this every day. Except for Mondays, I don't take it on my fasting day because since it's a vitamin, I like to follow it with something. Although this is just liquid, it still has like substance in it. Um, So I don't like to take vitamins on an empty stomach. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and break my fast with my Nutriburst. And then this is going to be my breakfast slash lunch. Like I told you guys yesterday, I do not have an appetite. So I don't force myself to like eat a lot. But I do make sure that I am eating. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and have this smoothie. This is the my famous green smoothie that I love so much. It is a half of a banana, um, one cup of spinach, two tablespoons of PB2, one vanilla premier protein shake, and I do add one scoop of my teamy greens so that's what's in this smoothie right now so i'm gonna take my neutral burst first and then i'll be breaking my fast with my smoothie and right now um it is 12 52 so yeah this definitely will hold me over and then when i get home tonight for dinner i didn't make my chili yesterday so i won't be having chili that'll be for meal prep the rest of the week but i'm gonna make tuna and eat it with my um cheese it snaps and those are three points per bag so i'll go over that a little later on but here is my water a lot of you guys always ask me where i got my bling cup from her name is laura lee love laura lee i'll go ahead and link her down below um to her instagram so if you do one win of course you can see it's custom she put my name on it and we did kind of like a pink ombre like i love this cup so much i do understand that i have a whole lot of cups but this one right here gets me excited to drink my water so this right here is 72 ounces i have been busy normally by one o'clock i'm finished with my gallon but it has been busy all morning so this is only my third cup but don't you worry because i do five of these a day so i'm gonna go ahead and finish this and then i'll have another one a fourth one before i leave work today and then i'll have my fifth one with dinner tonight i'll also be going ahead and taking my iso tea but i won't do that till a little later on but i'm gonna go ahead right now and get my fast broken with my nutriburst and then I'm going to sip on my smoothie for a little while. Alrighty. And I like the taste of it, so I always go back and make sure I get everything. It tastes like orange juice to me. But my fast is broken, so we can go ahead and end fast. Come on in in fast and I have fasted for one day 16 hours and four minutes all right guys so it is busy I just came from a meeting and I have one more meeting to go to before I get off but it is time to take my tea I told you guys I ran out of my CBD tea so I have just been drinking two of the regular tea now that tea I can drink it by itself um but sometimes I really don't like the taste so I do add one sweet and low to it so I'll go ahead and drink a little of my water out y'all know the process and then I put both tea bags in um tea sachets <laughs> and then one sweet and low shake it up and then I go ahead and drink my tea and like I said I'm still at work it's a very gentle it doesn't affect me when I'm at work I haven't had to like run to the bathroom and knock people over or do anything like that so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get this done and then i gotta go to my last meeting of the day so i can go to the his night eat because i didn't got on my <laughs> home 
disregard the way my hair look. Your girl just got a little workout in. You want to know why? Because my desk came. I literally was going to the mailbox um, and picking up something. And it was like, you have a package. And I was like, well, I'm not waiting on anything. And my desk is not due to arrive until August the 5th. So, and I get down there and FedEx is the winner. For one, they deliver on Sundays. For two, they show you their muscles. And the reason I said that is because, let me show y'all this. So they have to take a picture of our packages to let us know, you know, how they, I mean, where they're coming from and all that stuff when they're delivered. So look what FedEx did. Let me see if I can find it. It was just yesterday. He takes the picture and it's supposed to be of the label so you can know what it is. Hold on. It's supposed to be of the label so you can know what it is. Look, it's him showing his muscles. That's what he doing. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and unbox the desk and get it out and see what we got to do. I'm going to have a, a more of a desk set up. I'm going to have my desk set up by this weekend. I'm excited. Stay tuned. Sorry, my mom's texting. Alrighty guys, so here's the desk. The drawers are on this side. And yes, I do know that the handles are gold, but I'm gonna spray paint those silver. Um, but I am so excited because it came already um done. Like literally the drawers could come out already, and I just have to put the legs on it. That's exactly what I wanted. It's like the perfect size too, because I didn't want it too big. Like this one this about to be look, I can't even talk, I'm so excited. This is about to be put up right now. So stay tuned. Wednesday and Thursday was crazy at work and when I got home it was like let me get my mind right so I did not pick up the camera and now I got y'all bouncing up and down because I don't have y'all on my stand I'm holding y'all but I'm actually at the office today going to see one of my clinics I'm just doing a regular visit and then figuring out if we can launder some stuff that they need so that's what I'm going to do I have been fasting now for 17 hours and I'm going to go over my fast even more because I'm not gonna break my fast until after I leave my meeting but um, when I do break my fast I'm gonna go to Starbucks and get me an espresso over ice I did bring my caramel protein shake so I can add that and have my protein iced coffee and then that'll hold me over until later because by the time I get back to the office I gotta do my wrap up for Friday and then I have my two o'clock meeting that I have every day so I'm not even gonna have time to even worry about food or anything like that it's gonna be a crunch or whatever so I'll just eat a bigger dinner and the coffee will hold me over until then but yes your girl broke her fast on Wednesday I did make my chili so I had chili for lunch and then for dinner literally I just been eating cheese it snaps. I have not had an appetite whatsoever. And normally, well, actually Tuesday I did have tuna and cheese it snaps, but then I didn't want tuna anymore, and I didn't want to make my omelet like I said I would. I just really haven't had an appetite, so I just been eating the little hundred calorie pack of cheeses just to have something in my stomach. And that's what's been going on. Not really much at all this week as far as food. And like I said today. I literally brought my water in a protein shake because I knew I was going to be out and about and moving around and stuff like that. So we'll pick this up around dinner time so I can figure out what's for that time. But anyway, if something changed and I end up eating lunch or something like that, I'll come back and let you guys know. But I'm just happy to be about that office today. Like it's been a long time since we're coming out because you know it's a pandemic going on too. So when you go to these locations, um, you have the mask up and all that stuff like that do all the proper procedures and precautions for going to clinics and hospitals so it's a lot in itself or whatever but that's what's going on today this weekend is going to be an eventful weekend because now that i have all my furniture
furniture pieces for my office i need to go ahead and organize my makeup so i am going to show you guys my makeup collection don't judge me i'm telling y'all now don't judge me <laughs> but anyway i just wanted to come and open up the vlog for today and i'll pick you guys up a little later. Alrighty, guys so i saw my customer got everything that i needed i made it to starbucks and got my two shots of espresso over ice in a venti cup and i'm about to get ready and break my fast i have been fasting for 17 hours and 57 minutes almost 18 hour fast and my window is 16 8 so i always go over my fasting window like literally every day and then y'all know y'all already know what it is ogs y'all know what it is <laughs> i've been talking about this forever and this is only two points on weight watchers and 170 calories 10 from this 160 from this so the only thing that i do um you can you don't have to get it in a venti cup but it just fits in a venti cup better so um yeah the only thing i do is i take it and i pour it over oh my god look at it Ooh. yes and he gave me the right amount of ice to where it's not like too much going on and it's not overflowing and doing all that extraness oh i really should have asked if i could use the restroom because your girl got to pee this is my third cup of water so this makes 72 ounces when i get to work i'll refill it that'll be my fourth cup and then i only have one more cup left and i'll have that with dinner so i'm gonna go ahead and finish um that soon but yes the meeting went really really good this is the mask white my mask is this like chanel logo mask but when you go to the hospitals and stuff they do have you flip into the hospital mask um and sanitize and if you're going in an area where there's any like covid patients or anything like that you do have to uh, suit up and all the extra stuff but yes this is what i will be breaking my fast with today i do have my nutriburst as well so when i get back to work i'll take my nutriburst um because i still need to take my multivitamin today but yeah i just like to go ahead and get mine stirred in and then i let it sit for a few minutes just so it can marry each other in the cup and yeah so it's officially 12 o'clock right now and i will be going ahead and breaking my face well my thing still say 17.59 and since i waited this long i might as well go ahead and make it a solid 18 hour fast right like it is hot today not as hot though as it has been i will say that oh here in my car range rover get it sir goes but yeah so i'll be finishing this up i really need to stop drinking because i have to pee but i think i think i can make it back to the office because at first i was gonna stop and like actually get lunch because i remember earlier i said oh well, i'm not gonna get lunch but then i was like maybe i should eat something um, especially since I fasted longer than I normally do, but I'm not hungry, so I'm not gonna force myself, but I do want the coffee. So, uh-oh, three seconds. All right, we just hit 18 hours in fast. So I have fasted for 18 hours solid and fast. Okay, my fast is ended, and I'll go ahead and do my first sip with you guys. Oh, that espresso smell good, so hopefully it's strong. y'all y'all i love duncan don't get me wrong but duncan can never mm, mm, mm. i ain't gonna lie i love duncan i'll be going to duncan tomorrow so don't judge me like i said I, okay let's just put like this i love them both it is what it is i can't i can't love two people huh oh they're sitting on the patio and eating it oh how cool but anyway that's what's gonna hold me over until a little later on on fridays or saturdays is when i use like my weeklies and stuff so i really can't have whatever i want to eat especially since i'm not having like all my meals like i'm supposed to because this is only two points i get 23 points a day and i have let's see i get 23 points a day regularly and i have 62 weeklies right now so i really can eat whatever i want <laughs> um and use my weeklies but your girl like we're gonna try to do right we're gonna try to do right mother nature is coming up on us i'm supposed to start today is what my app tells me so that could be the reason too as to why i'm up here thinking like oh we can eat what we want because that's the only time that i allow myself to cheat if i do cheat but again it's not cheating because i am an honest tracker and i track everything so now I'm tracking my coffee. So I do a Karma Premier Protein. Okay, Karma, Karma 
Oreo Premier Protein Shake and then Espresso Shot. Okay, so I just tracked it. I did my espresso short. Whoever put it in put short, but that's okay. I still use it because they know what we're talking about. It wasn't me though. Um, and then my premier protein. So my breakfast today is only two points. And as y'all can see, I still have 21 points remaining for today and 62 weekly points that I need to use today because my weekly points expire on Saturdays when I do my weigh in or whatever. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me put my water. Okay, cool. Okay, so I do have 72 ounces of water. This is how I use my tracking. And like I said, whatever I decide to eat today, then I'll just honestly track it. But right now, I'm okay as far as food. So, it is officially 12.04. So I'm about to head back to the office. Um, my meeting is at two, so I gotta go back and do all the paperwork and stuff and get everything ready. And then go to my meeting. And then it's Friday. I don't give a damn about work after this. But anyway, I'll pick you guys up a little bit later. So what's up, guys? And happy Sunday. The last time I picked you guys up was Friday when I went to go see my customer. And I told you guys that day that my monthly was coming. And y'all, she showed up. So your girl was just taking it easy on yesterday. I didn't vlog. I didn't edit. I didn't do anything. I just actually like laid around, which I haven't done in so long. And it felt so good. But I got on up this morning i went to duncan and got my iced coffee and then i got the vlog edited and then i got ready and now i'm about to get ready and head to walmart i need to pick up body wash and some pads and just some hygiene stuff and then i need to figure out what i'm eating this week and also i need to just get some little eyes and ends some towels and stuff like that so i'm about to go to walmart and do that but i do want to go ahead and wrap up this vlog for you guys so first things first this is my monthly week which means that I was expecting the scale to go up on this time whenever I did my weight in because like I've told you guys so many times I hold a lot of water weight during my monthly it just is what it is I'm a camel and I just hold on to water so I bloat really bad my ankle swell my breast swell and I actually do like experience PMS as far as like cravings and stuff but something happened that i wasn't expecting to happen i weighed in yesterday on my regular weigh-in day and i lost 0.4 pounds so last week i was 210.8 and this week even being on my period i was 210.4 which was so so weird because again i always gain weight on my monthly so that was interesting so i'll, I'll take that as a loss because like i said i was thinking that scale was gonna have between eight and ten pounds gain on there because that's what happens on my monthly she do me so wrong and i gained so much water weight but again i did see a loss so i'm just like okay isot come through i am loving these results now i am still bloated my ankles are still kind of swollen but that's what happens on my monthly or whatever so yes i did end up starting and i will be on until wednesday i want to say so i will not be fasting tomorrow i don't do a full day fast when i'm on my monthly because i do cramp and i like to take medicine and i like to eat with that so although i don't do a full day fast i still would be doing my intermediate fasting so i still would be doing my 16 8 meaning breaking my fast at 11 and stop eating at 7 and then i'll just pick up my full day fast on thursday this week because that's when my monthly will be over and i'll need that full day to go ahead and get the water weight off so yeah i'll be fasting later in the week but don't worry i'll be vlogging so i'll let you guys know how that goes but i am surprised with the whole scale like like, I cannot believe it didn't go up. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. But anyway, that is how my weekly um, weigh-in went. And this week was really, really good. Like I told you guys in the vlog, I really didn't have much of an appetite. So for dinner, I was literally only eating my cheddar snap. For lunch, I did have my um, chili and the crackers. And I did a fruit cup. And I had my gallon of water every day. 
and then yesterday saturday i did have my dunkin iced coffee and i did have an iced coffee this morning so it was a really good week like i said mother nature decided to show up got your girl cramping and stuff but it is totally okay we just gonna keep on with the keeping on i also told you guys that i was gonna show you guys my makeup collection and i just want to show you how i have it bagged up and then what i'm gonna do is in these black bins back here is where i'm gonna store my makeup because with my desk being here now i do have two drawers on my desk but those are just for my everyday makeup because this area is literally for um me to just sit down and do my makeup Could i didn't get that could you try again? Siri all in our business. She be just popping up. I didn't even say her name. Sis, like, you know, see. But anyway, I just wanted this area to be just a small little area that I can just sit here and get glam whenever I needed it to be. Um, so, yes, it turned out perfect. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn you guys around and let you see pretty much what I'm thinking as far as my makeup. Alrighty, guys. So, as you can see right here, these are all my makeup brushes. Don't judge me. Do not judge me. I have a lot of brushes like I shouldn't have to buy brushes ever again like you can look in the mirror and see how many brushes I got um and they have been in the bag for a while so I am gonna take my time and clean all of my brushes which reminded me when I go to Walmart I need to get some um soap so I can clean them but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get all these um cleaned and ready so I can make a DIY brush holder and then I'm gonna have like my brushes sitting here on my desk I was thinking of maybe in this area right here instead of like putting pictures maybe I'll put some floating shelves so I could put like my makeup brushes and stuff up there so I still haven't decided yet but yes I do need a place for my makeup brushes and this um thing right here is my everyday makeup so this is what I take with me when me and baby going trips or something or if I need to pick up makeup this is what I grab and it literally has my everyday makeup in it so I'll be taking everything out of here and then that will go in these drawers so that way I'll know exactly what I use every day and then these bags over here this whole bag right here is makeup palettes like I told y'all your girl got so many palettes it is deep and it goes all the way to the bottom <laughs> so yeah I'll pull them out and show you how I organize them um, um, but yeah, I put makeup palettes in there. And then in this bag right here, I have one of those clear bags full of lipsticks. And then one of the clear bags is full of like glitters and highlights and pencils and mini palettes. And it's just, it's just a lot of stuff. So yeah, that is pretty much all my makeup. I mean, my palettes and lipsticks and stuff like that. Makeup brushes and then everyday makeup. And like I told you guys, my makeup palettes will go inside these black containers over here. And then I'm going to do it like maybe that'll be neutrals. Maybe that'll be a colorful, you know, colorful palettes. Maybe this will be glitters. So I'll have my makeup like cute and hidden and organized back here. And then again, all my everyday makeup, just what I need on the spot to do a full face will be here in these drawers. I did find some drawer organizers on Amazon. I ordered them um, so I can just have my drawers organized. And and then like I told you guys I am going to spray paint these gold but I am going to actually too go look and see if I can find some cuter um handles and if so then I'll just buy some handles because it's going to be like really easy to just unscrew and put them on so yeah I may find some handles or I may spray paint those so yes your girl got a ton of makeup brushes a ton of palettes and like I said it is a whole lot of lipsticks and stuff in there but we'll get into like organizing this in next week's vlog so yes guys I'm so excited the last thing that I need is to get a, a stool for this area. I don't want a chair. I just want a cute little black stool that I can just put under the table. Um, Because I still have a ton of room in this area. And I don't want it to be too cluttered or anything. Look, I should turn it around. So I still have a ton of room in this area. So I don't want it to be too cluttered. So I just want to get some type of cute little black stool that I can sit on when I'm doing my makeup. And then I can just push under when I'm done. And I got some bad news. So. So, as far as my curtains, UPS delivered my package to the wrong post office. Eve, thank you again for all you have done, honey. Like, I appreciate you nonetheless, but this was not her fault. The first time she um, ordered these curtains for me, they were shipped to me but for some reason they got rerouted and ended up somewhere else and so we had to open up an investigation for that package so she took it upon herself to find the curtains on another site and she reordered them and reordered them and got them sent to me again and then this time ups decides to deliver it to the wrong area 
area so we had to open up another investigation for that package so i still don't have the curtains and like i said it is not eve's fault i don't know what's going on with ups and why they won't bring me this package but it is totally okay because when the devil get the message it's a blessing somewhere and i thank you again eve for just doing going out your way to even order the curtains and get them sitting and everything like that so we are still in the process of trying to figure out where that package is but it doesn't kill me about the curtains right now i don't care i actually like the light and stuff that comes in so it doesn't bother me at all but i do want to say thank you again eve for um even attempting to buy the curtains twice <laughs> and get them sent over here um i am still looking for stuff because i'm ready to start working on this guest bathroom so i can get it done because when i'm looking in the videos i hate to just see nothing is there um so i am going to be looking for stuff to get that done and i'm excited because your girl is about to go on vacation actually me and baby are about to be married for two years y'all two whole years um actually in what 16 days so because today is the second so yes in 16 days august the 18th me and baby will be married for two years so i actually did take that whole week off on vacation so me and baby are gonna do a staycation we're gonna go shopping um we're gonna go furniture shopping so we can see if we can find a bedroom set in the living room set um we're gonna go clothing shopping because y'all know i done lost a lot of weight again so i need to step up my clothes game well actually i just need clothes um baby wants to get her some clothes and shoes and then um i need to go get my eyes checked like i got a lot of stuff to do during vacation and i'm excited because i'll have some content for you guys but also while i'm on vacation i will be going ahead and getting the bathroom together and the kitchen together because i'm ready to have that decorated so that can be off my list my office is pretty much done like i said I just need a stool get some curtains and then this space will be done so i'm excited about that I'm also and excited about the bedroom comforter like we have been sleeping on the comforter in the sheets all week it actually looked really good out of the packaging because in the packaging i was like oh the sheets look a bit darker but it worked out perfect like the pattern that's on the comforter match the sheets and it just looks so good and it's so comfy so cozy everything washed up well and i just am in love with it so i do need to finish the bedroom i'll show you guys all of that stuff once it's done i'll kind of do like a master bedroom tour um we still do need to get a curtain rugs and a couple more things for that area and then I need to finish the bathroom in there too so it's coming along it's really coming along and I am having the time of my life just talking to you guys and showing you guys and getting advice from you guys again if y'all know where we can get some really nice pillows from please let me know because your girl is on the hunt for those not necessarily decorative pillows but just actual pillows that we could sleep on or whatever but I'm am still on the hunt for those as well. oh yes and I forgot to tell you the phone case that I was telling y'all about so much actually came so I'll go ahead and put a picture of me and baby's phone case right here so y'all can see it i got this bamboozle by facebook ad it popped up and it's by oh so touch i think it is and i want to say it's like a chinese based company but it ships from california but i think it went from china to california and then to us because it took about a week and a half almost two weeks to get here but i love them like they're decorative cases but they still like hold really well baby dropped her phone and everything worked out perfect with it so i really like these cases i did just want to order this one first to see how it look because they have so many different styles so i am going to go back on there and stock up and buy me a whole lot of more uh cases or whatever but I just wanted to come and show y'all that because I know I was telling y'all that we was waiting on our phone cases because I was so excited about them. And yes, those are the phone cases. <laughs> so yes, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up today's vlog so I can go ahead and head out, get to Walmart before the stores get too crowded and stuff. And then I want to go ahead and get this vlog up for you guys. I think I wrapped up everything, but if not, I'm going to go ahead and start the next vlog right after I finish this one. So if it's something else I have to tell you, then I'll tell you in next week's vlog. So if you're not, this this is your time to go ahead and subscribe and turn your notification bell on to be notified and i'll see you guys next week